I love how the boycott Chiquita campaign has jumped from the political class and the oil patch into severely normal Canadians. Here's, for example, some footage of some kids dressed up in sombreros and ponchos handing out pamphlets outside an Edmonton Safeway saying, don't buy Chiquita bananas. I love it. You guys keep it up. And farmboy.ca, a website with a store, all sorts of great fresh and organic foods. Well, they decided not to carry Chiquita anymore. You know what? Like me, they don't like the taste of blood in their bananas. Chiquita loves OPEC oil, well, we like ethical oil. And joining me now from our Calgary studio is a restaurateur, Kevin Taylor, the proprietor of the Cheesecake Cafe on McLeod Trail South. Mr. Taylor, welcome to the show. I'm a fan of yours. I was before. I've been at your restaurant many of times. But I'm an extra big fan today because you have said no Chiquita bananas in my establishment. Welcome to the program. Thank you, Ezra. Glad now, to be here. Tell me what motivated you to take a public stand against Chiquita Bananas. Ezra, it started on Tuesday morning when I got up and read the newspaper and uh, read what they were doing and challenging uh, Alberta oil sands, what they call tar sands. And I decided to stop getting bullied around. I rely on a strong economy in Alberta and specifically Calgary. A lot of our oil companies in downtown Calgary they order cheesecakes from us, they order lunch to go from us. And it affects everybody, and I just decided to stand up and say no. That's amazing, I'm so proud of what you did, because you know, most businessmen, they just wanna go about their business, they don't wanna stick their head up and get political, but you're taking a stand. Now let me ask you, in the day or so since you've made this public announcement, what has the reaction been from your customers and the community in general? Well, first of all, let's talk, start with our staff. The staff have been phenomenal. When I walked into work the other morning, they're all giving me high fives on standing up for something that they also believe in. So that's been fantastic. The emails have been coming in, uh, the Twitters, uh, hundreds and hundreds of Twitters mentioning and thanking me and standing up for Calgarians and Albertans and Canadians. And when they're not to mention the phone calls, we've had retired people calling and retired from the oil patch saying thank you. We've had customers that said, I've never been to your restaurant, but because you've done this, we're going to be new customers to you. It has just been absolutely outstanding from everybody across Canada and in Calgary. I'm so pleased it, works out, it worked out for you. You know, I'm, I'm proud of you as a, as a community leader for taking the stand, and I'm really proud of Calgary and, like you say, folks from all across the country responding and showing you a little bit of that patriotic solidarity. That's what I think this is about. Look, there's no difference in taste between Chiquita bananas and Del Monte bananas and Dole bananas, but one of them is trying to attack our jobs and our economy. Uh, now, tell me a little bit uh, uh, about this. Has Chiquita pushed back? Have they contacted you? Have they tried to talk you out of this? Uh, has anyone in the banana uh, business uh, uh, told you different or is it pretty much unified everyone's on side absolutely had no contact from Chiquita uh, I've been warned that they might contact me but they haven't uh, and again I'm just a small guy that maybe goes through 30 40 pounds of bananas a week but I think it's standing up and saying no and uh, the solidarity from everybody uh, has just been again overwhelming now, how about uh, other restaurateurs? I mean, uh, it's a, it's a close-knit community. You all, I mean, you're, you're small businessmen. You all have similar problems. You probably talk amongst each other. There's the Restaurant and Food Service Association. Have you talked to your colleagues in other uh, restaurants about this? And have they said that maybe they're going to follow your example? Or are, are you so far the only one who's flown this flag? That's a great question. I've talked to many restaurateurs. And uh, one common thing is they said, Kevin, congratulations for being first out of the gate. Well, hopefully that implies there'll be others. Now, in fact, the Cheesecake Cafe, there's about four locations in Calgary. Are you just the proprietor of one of them, or are you involved with all four of these locations? No, I'm just the proprietor on the uh, McLeod Trail location. Is it a franchise, or do you own the thing outright? No, it's a franchise. I'm a franchisee. Gotcha. And, and your franchise uh, licensor and, and the other franchisees, they're cool with this too? To, to a certain extent, uh, you know, uh, it's taking a pretty bold statement, standing out and saying that. So I would have to say that uh, they're pretty good with it. And once they start seeing the feedback uh, that's coming in, I think now they'll see it's more than just a Facebook mention and a Twitter account mention. It's absolutely uh, gone uh, across Canada. 
Well, that's awesome, and I hope that oil companies and oil service companies and anyone in Calgary who relies on the oil signs for their income, I hope they have their Christmas parties at your place and order cheesecakes from you. And do you have any background in the industry? Were you always a restaurateur, or did you come from the oil patch? What, what did you do before the Cheesecake Cafe? Well, I've been in the restaurant business for about 26, 27 years. But before that, I worked on the oil rig. So I, do, I did work in the oil patch for about five and a half years. And, and tell me, you, I mean, you've worked there. I mean, it sounds like you were a young guy back then, maybe putting yourself through school or something. What was it like? Were, were people working out there in the oil patch, were they ethical? Were they conducting themselves in a way that would make you proud as a Canadian that the way we do business in the oil sands, even 25 years ago, was as ethical or better than any other oil producer in the world? From your experience on the rigs, how do Albertans well, and Canadians behave? Well, I can tell you, when I came out here and I started working in the oil patch in 1979, I was a 19-year-old kid going, wow, I didn't even know where oil came from. And to learn and work on the rigs and become a driller and be very successful at what I did in the oil patch, to see today that where we've come in terms of our responsibilities, in terms of our in the environment where we've come, yes, we, uh, we use a bit of water, we uh, use some natural gas up in Fort McMurray. But where we've come from 30 years ago is just outstanding. And we got to give kudos to the oil companies, Synovus, Husky, Syncrude, Suncor. They are putting so much money into research and making it a better place for everybody on a continuous basis. You know, that's a good point because the technology in the oil sense is it's a pretty new thing. I mean, it was considered experimental even just 10, 15 years ago. So they're getting better, they're getting more efficient. I mean, I know for a fact that in the last 20 years, the amount of CO2 per barrel in the oil sense has fallen by 29%. So that's the kind of improvements you're talking about. Well, listen, enough talk about oil. I want to praise you for what you're doing in those cheesecakes. I bet the, your banana cream pies taste even sweeter knowing that you're using freedom bananas instead of the conflict bananas at Chiquita. Kevin Taylor, give us your address one more time as a shout out to all our viewers in Calgary. 7600 McLeod Trail South. Love to see you down there. Ask for me. I'd love to talk to you. That's amazing. Thank you for being such a great patriot, my friend. Thanks for coming on the show.